to Lee Hillier, the third of UniversalSoulPower.com. That's UniversalSoulPower.com. And we are the new way to do contemporary hip hop soul podcasting. Check out my blog, UniversalSoulPower.com. There you'll see my podcast and my posts. So, let's get started here. Bill Cosby was found guilty today and needless to say I'm pissed off but what else can you expect you know the the, the problem with us as black people is we keep we're such a loving people we keep hoping and wishing that some people would love us. <clears throat> we just have this innate nature to believe in the best in people. And although we cannot say all people in any group is bad, when you swim in, in like I always say, 400 years of racism, people's minds operate automatically unconscious bias whatever just another word for racism it's the impact of racism I get tired of hearing this word bias used by mainstream media and others to avoid the pain of racism you see when you're a perpetrator of racism like mainstream American media government business, so on and so forth in regards to their discrimination against blacks, in particular the criminal justice system. We, we just want to believe that, you know, things turn out for us. But look what happened with OJ. There was no evidence. They shut down Faye Resnick's dealings with drug dealers and et cetera and so forth. But all you heard was one side. So everybody believes, most people believe OJ was guilty. But they still went and got him. Because they're vindictive and hateful and evil. Racism is evil. Bill Cosby may win on appeal. If they get a, right, a good jury. Most of this jury was white. That's how they wanted it. The judge was white. It, it was a setup from the start. We know how this turns out. He even allowed in women from 30, 40 years ago, accusing, you know, bringing up accusations. Never said a word about Cosby until the media start putting stuff out there. Then Gloria Allred's $100 million payout. And what are, what are they telling these women that came forth? So, black men, you have to be very cautious. You have to be careful in regards to who you deal with and that's not being racist that's not being discriminatory it's just our reality all we see paraded on TV even though white Americans commit most crimes are black athletes and entertainers and everyday men we get shot down dead in the street we get locked up for a million years nobody pays a price so this 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 is our life but we're strong powerful people that's why we are the survivors of the transatlantic slave trade so we will we will and ultimately recover and as they say inherit the earth because it's just because we're good we 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 want to be loved and there's nothing wrong with that but that's why we were able to be enslaved because we are the original people on the planet all people are black people. When will white America, those who are racist, get this? Everybody comes from Africa. Skin color is just superficial. And your skin covers your body. But your genetics is what makes you who you are. There's no such thing as race. I mean, they've known this for 50 years. But white supremacy has an economic element 
and it perpetuates that. And it's not about mainstream white Americans. They've been duped, starting with civics classes, to believe in the flag and all this other stuff, and racism. So we've all been put in this position, and here we are, but we got to bear the brunt. Black people, and particularly black men, got to bear the brunt of this racism. So black boys, you have to be careful. You have to realize that this is the world that we all have to grow up in. And I keep hearing these young guys, these rappers and these athletes and entertainers, you know, they, they have it good. They're rich. But you see, if they can go after probably one of the, at one point, the richest among them, Bill Cosby, imagine what they can do to you five years, 20 years, 30 years from now. This is a psychological attack also to make sure that you are fearful. You see, you can be courageous, you can be well-meaning, you can be intentional, you can be strong, proud, and powerful and go about your life, but they want to instill fear in you. Don't be afraid, but don't be stupid. So Bill Cosby, I believe, he has to win on appeal. If there's, there's no justice, but he has to, just because I think at the end of the day, the higher power is running everything. And ultimately, he will have the last word. And I think Bill Cosby will be free. This is an 80-year-old black man who was America's dad, whom none of these women said anything about for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Con Stan even got paid two point something, three million dollars. And when I looked at the press, the press conference, the prosecutors and all them up there, the little black girl, I, I, I believe there was a black female too that was, of course, they always put a black person to attack another black person. That's an old trick. She just looked so sad up there. She looked like this is what she got to do as a young, stupid black girl. She got to go after this black man. She's standing up there. They put her up there up front all the time so they can so it appears that there's no racism involved here and she just sits up there she's smiling and but it looked like a fake superficial smile because our community knows what she's up there for and we know she's young and we know she's weak not all young women are weak i met some of the strongest women when i was a basketball coach working at a a, a, a small college i met beautiful strong black women they were my biggest supporters they supported me even more than most of my basketball players. That they, they helped they, they helped me organize several groups. They did everything. So I love black women. Okay? But that black woman standing up on that stage with this this prosecutor that went after Bill to upgrade his political career he's the kind of he's 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 the, the kind of punk kid that you see in school that everybody picks on and teases and now he's exacting his revenge not everybody because I never I know I don't believe in picking on people and bullying but he's that kid he's the kid you say did, did some black kids were you jealous of the, the black athletes at the school he has an axe to grind look at him and you know what's so funny about it? All those prosecutors standing up there, they didn't look happy. They know they were wrong. They know this is wrong. This man, Bill Cosby, is 80 years old. Not not one per and Constant looked the, 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 the least happy up there. But that's what racism is. No matter what, don't do the right thing. In this case, do the right thing. When, when are black people, when are we going to get across to ourselves and our children that, look, not all black people, brown people, red, yellow people, white people are bad or good. But white America has to atone. The, the, the good white Americans who's, who aren't racist, they need to they need to pull their pull their shit together and do something about this because this is going to bring us all down. 
I recently talked about China and Russia are getting together because of what we've been doing around the world in Syria and other places, just going in and bullying places like Libya, like Clinton and Obama, just going and bombing Gaddafi, just going in and starting a war bush in Iraq for fake weapons of mass destruction that never existed. The world is aligning against us. And we got 50 million, over 50 million black people don't believe the census in this country. And we got Latinos, a lot of Latinos upset now. So racism is tearing this country apart. So we are weakening ourselves from the inside out with these, these asinine charges, trials, this criminal justice system, this racist media, CNN, ABC, NBC, who proliferated false accusations about Mr. Cosby, did not vet these women, let them come on TV and say any damn thing they wanted. Nobody talked about Constan, or very few, calling Cosby 50 times. Nobody talked about the, the one Latino woman in this case. I think she's Hispanic or something. This woman's got a criminal record, fraud on her record. It's on and on. But you won't get that in the mainstream media. So this man that gave all this money, all his life to these black colleges and stuff, and these black people turned their back on him. If you're black and you don't support Cosby, you ought to be ashamed of your size each other all the time. We all criticize each other. He's worried them more for black people with his money than any rich person has done with their money to help the black community. Name one person who's given more than Bill Cosby. And the first time these racist bastards start coming after him to try to lock him up over bogus charges black people to turn their back. That's what fear does. We just start making up excuses so we don't get criticized at work. Trying to show out, trying to coon an Uncle Tom so the white people think we're smart. They know who we are. When you're a coon, when you're a sellout, when you're a perpetrator, I like to call them perpetrators, they know you weak. And that's why Racism keeps going on and on because they know that many of our people lie down and won't say nothing. What they did, Harvey Weinstein is still out there and we know the accusations were true against him because he even admitted so, so as much as um, what he did. But he ain't, he ain't stepped foot in a courtroom. Because the criminal justice system, the judges, the police, the uh, talent agencies out there in California, the studios, everybody got behind him. And he ain't st stood one step, took one step in the court because he's white. But Bill Cosby, all he's done for people, the white kids that watched him, the black kids, all racist. We learn to be men from him. So what? He gets on us. My only issue with Cosby over the years has been that when he did criticize us, I said, why don't you call Hollywood out for his racism? I said, why don't you do that? But I forgave him for that. I guess I kind of forgave him, but I'm not going to hold that against him because I know that what they can do to him, they can do to me, you, and everybody else. At the end of the day, I could go on forever. But at the end of the day, how would you feel if somebody came after you like this? A lot of us as black people, we know this because we got family members, relatives, you know, who've been in the system before. But if somebody calls you a liar, say you did something, trying to get money or trying to get something out of you or because they're spiteful or revengeful, a lot of these women, their careers didn't work out. They never said nothing because nothing never happened. 60, 70 women that had sex with Mr. Cosby, not one goes to the police. 
That's because there was nothing that was going on. These women were coming to him. He wasn't in some dark alley or out on the streets. These women were coming to him. Quaaludes was the jug of choice. You've heard it all before. I just wanted to get on here and, <clears throat> excuse me, and say something. Stay strong, Mr. Cosby, your team, your public relations. I think there's a higher power out here operating and you will prevail eventually. But this racism stuff is, is just hateful and evil. And with China and Russia getting, getting together and with dissension in our, our country over immigration and racism and all this stuff, this country is being destroyed from the inside out in white America. You got to get off your ass and call these racists out. You got to talk to the people in your families because there's nobody's, nobody's going to win. We're going to all lose in the end. You have to stop this. You have the most power in this country, country mainstream white America. You have to step up. You got to look, your, <clears throat> you got to look yourself in the mirror one day and talk to your higher power and say, Hey, you know this is wrong. You know these black folks ain't being treated right. And I commend you, that woman in Starbucks and that man that called those people out in Starbucks. I commend those are the those are the kind of people. I'm not saying they don't have an inkling with, but they they are stand up people. Those are the kind of people who need to step up and stand out and speak up. Everything's going to work itself out because right always wins. Right always wins. This is Walter Lee Hilliard, the third of UniversalSoulPower.com. That's UniversalSoulPower.com, the new rhythm and bluesy contemporary hip hop soul of podcasting. Peace.